the Charles Duanga Parish at home has matched the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary with a Marian concert. The concert was done in conjunction with various Marian societies in the parish and it took place at the church premises. CTV News was there. Mary Mass or the birth of the Virgin Mary is a feast that the church started celebrating in the 16th century. Marian societies usually mark this feast in their own little way. This year, for the first time in the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja, the Madonna Choir at St. Charles Luanga Parish Apo went an extra mile to commemorate this feast with a concert tagged the Marian Concert. It brought together various Marian devotees in the parish for an evening of honoring the woman who played a key role in the salvation of man. He want to do something different from what that used to happen before. Before we used to have celebration of the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, but this year we chose to do it in a different way by singing the glories of Mary. That's what is special about it. The evening began with the Holy Rosary and a congregational hymn. was an opening prayer by the associate priest, Reverend Father Moses Ame. Of this day, we thank you for the gift of one another, and we thank you for the gift of the Blessed Virgin Mary. There were opening remarks from the parish priest, Reverend Father Thomas Edobanya, as well as the choir master, Charles Arua. But if a concert is organized, it must go in harmony. It is divinely planned that what you conceived in 2021 is happening in 2024. 2024 stands as a special year where the nativity of our mother falls on Sunday. The idea of these events being held in conjunction with Marian societies in the parish was first mooted in 2021, but couldn't come to fruition. First, it is a thing of joy that three years later, the dream has become a reality. To God be the glory. Thereafter, the first performance was presented by the host choir. The concert also featured solos and duets. Ed Members of different Marian societies and choir groups had an opportunity to honor our Blessed Mother Mary. <laughs> The Archbishop Emeritus of the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja, His Eminence John Cardinal Onaikan, had a message on the devotion to our Mother Mary. The, the Muslim religion, from what I'm hearing from those, those who are well versed in the Islamic faith, have a great respect for Mother Mary. Only recently, some years ago, the Sultan of Abu Dhabi re renovated an old mosque and renamed it after Mother Mary. Not just after Mother Mary, but Mary, the mother of Jesus. And uh, the, the Holy Quran has 
the whole chapter on Mother Mary. Therefore, if it comes to religious uh, understanding and peace among ourselves in Nigeria, Mary will be a very important point of contact between us Christians and our Muslim brothers. The, good, the, the honor we give to Mary and the, the recognition that we have that God has done great things in this woman. Islam makes it very clear that there's no other woman who had the prerogative of Mary of having a child born without the assistance of a male person, which means Jesus was born of a virgin. Uh, we, we part ways when it comes to who is Jesus, but we don't have to quarrel too much over that, because while we say that Jesus is the Son of God, the Muslims believe that Jesus is a great prophet of God. So at least we have a, a lot of common ground. The evening also had renditions that were accompanied by a drama and special dance performance. <laughs> Mother Mary is the mother of all mothers, a perfect example of motherhood. So you are talking about a model for all mothers to follow in every aspect of virtues that you can consider. Humility, submission to the will of God, faith in God, and a total surrender to God. That is what we model as a mother to all other mothers? Well, I, I think it's a beautiful thing. I think that, you know, if we're all children of God, and um, I mean children of God, then siblings with our Lord Jesus Christ, and um, she's the God's mother. So it makes sense that we are genuinely her daughter and we should have like a real mother and daughter relationship with her. So this um, feast is an opportunity to actually connect with her and celebrates her and you know have a constant reminder that i mean it's not just something abstract out there that there's a mother mary but that she's actually a mother uh, whether you're a legionary or not if you're a daughter of god then you're also a daughter of um, the mother of god yes no it's just a perfect avenue to actually show the world the mother of god um, you know, the learning about Mary being the mother of God is actually uh, a learning that has existed in centuries, but still it's been um, misunderstood by a lot of people. A day like this is actually a beautiful day to actually still push and showcase our mother Mary to the world, showing that, yes, she is truly the mother of Christ. And as the mother of Christ, she is also drawing us to her son Jesus. So she serves as that, that intercessor between man and God as at the part of um, the Annunciation when she said yes to um, her fiat to the angel, um, accepting Christ into her and, and releasing Christ to, to the world. So Having a relationship with our mother is a very unique thing because just like your mother bore her child, she will always do everything to make her child to be very, very happy. And anything you ask of her, she will ensure that she go extra mile, she go beyond her own way to make sure that you get those things. So, I mean, having a personal relationship with her, I feel like this is my own mother, my personal mother that is not here on earth, that is in heaven watching over me, protecting me. And I feel that since I'm her daughter, there's nothing I'm going to ask of her that she's not going to. Beautiful idea, it's really, really beautiful. It's one of its kind. I think I've not seen something like this. This is the first of its kind happening in our parish here in St. Charles, and it's really beautiful, it's really wonderful. Having different societies who honor our Mother Mary here, like the CWO, our Mother of Perpetual Help, Legion of Mary, and other um, Marian societies. Oh, happy birthday, I know.